Hey guys, Patrick with Carding Concepts here and today we're going to talk about seats. We get a lot of questions from people wondering about what seat would be best for them comfort wise and also handling wise and that really just depends upon your, your build and also what type of engine class you're running, what type of cart you're running. You know there's uh, different stiffnesses of seats and one might be better for an application than another. Um, the most common seat company out there is by far Tillit and they in my opinion make the very best seat out there they make a lot of different models they make a lot of different shapes uh, stiffnesses so you can pretty much find a, a seat that would fit your application needs um, there's also a lot of other companies out there there's IMAF which makes like the silver carbon seat and a lot of factory uh, chassis companies contract out with them to make their own factory seat for them and then put their logo on it so you'll see a lot of those um, on like shifter carts and tags and those are a much softer seat Rigetti is another big manufacturer of seat they're a good seat they're going to be more for the budget friendly um, person they're not quite as comfortable and they're not as good of a seat but they're still a really decent seat um, there's also Riptech I'm not a fan of Riptech seats. They make a really quality product on everything they do. I love their hardware, but I'm just not a fan of their seat. I don't like the feeling of being sucked into the seat and the, the way they have the seat kind of hook around your ribs. I don't like that feeling. They're also a little bit too rigid for, for my liking. Um, then there's also some other um, companies out there like Neck and a few others. And uh, they have their own design theories. I'm not a fan of them. But um, there, there's just so many different options out there and you just got to find what works best for you. And so when you, if you go to measure yourself, ideally it's best if you could fit yourself in a seat, try it out. But if you're going to measure yourself, make sure to measure yourself also with your gear and rib vest on so that you know what you're getting. You know, if you just measure yourself without anything on, by the time you put your gear on, it's not going to fit anymore. So my favorite seat by far would be the Tillet T11. And they make this in all sorts of different sizes. They also make it in different stiffnesses. And this T11 is a new model. It's been blended with the 11 and the 12 of the prior years. The 12 was an injection molded and the 11 was in hand laid. And they had a little bit of a different size wise. And so they've blended the size and they've blended the design basically of it. So you can see on this new 11, you can see where the fibers are in the middle and they've actually put a resin coat all the way around it. So when you get the chain lube and the grease and stuff, it's not going to stain it and it's going to be easier to clean off. You can see it's got a big flat bottom. So this will keep a lower center of gravity. The hump is a nice hump to keep you in place, but it's not uh, too intruding on you. Also, just the legs, they have a nice dish for a natural angle. They have little tiny humps out here for your hips. A spine relief the angle seems to work really well for a lot of people I mean just overall the t11 like I say it's by far my go-to seat for everybody um, they also come in different uh, stiffnesses so this would be a standard one here they also uh, make the t11 T which is a medium and then they make a VG which would be a soft and if you're wondering what the difference in stiffnesses would be a lower horsepower cart like a four-stroke you're gonna want to run a harder seat and what that does is it kind of creates a binding point in the middle of the chassis and will help to jack the chassis up and um, it'll help to free up the cart a bit. So uh, the general theory is the stiffer the seat, the more free it's going to be, the softer the seat, the more grip. And although we are talking about grip throughout the chassis, we're predominantly talking about more, more or less rear grip. You know, it, it does affect the whole cart, but a softer chassis generally will give you more rear grip and a harder um, seat will give you less grip. It'll free the cart up. You can go counterintuitive on that though. If you get a soft seat and you're running say a four stroke and you don't have the power, those, those carts don't have the power to lift the, the axle up, it's just gonna lay flat and then you might feel like you're getting you know, a weird handling characteristic and that's for the fact that it's not able to jack up. The cart is laying flat because that seat is absorbing all the flex in the chassis and the cart's laying flat. So you're no longer jacking up the wheel. And so it really depends upon what engine class. Generally, I would say a soft seat for a tag or a shifter and, you know, start migrating towards a harder seat or a medium seat, you know, for like KT100, uh, four stroke, stuff like that. 
This here would be the Tillet T8. This is a lesser expensive model. Um, it's still a really great seat. It's also been redesigned. It now has a small flat spot on the bottom. These used to be domed on the bottom, which made it really hard for people to mount the seats. You know, it's, it's just a small enough spot that you can put a weight in there and keep this at an angle and it's easier to mount. You can see on the shape of it, it cup, cups more inside on the ribs and then angles out. And then this, the legs here, you can see it spreads the legs more in a V pattern and definitely has a much bigger hump for the crotch. So I don't like this seat nearly as much. Um, they do have smaller sizes in this seat than this one, so for cadets. Um, people like that it, it is a better seat because you can go smaller um, it's also lesser expensive so you're still getting a great tillet seat at a lesser price and sometimes that's the deciding factor for people then here this would be like an IMAF silver seat right here they look really cool um, and like I say these would be something you would use more on a shifter cart or a tag and these are a lot of the factory seats much much softer gonna flex a lot more now again you can get a tillet in a really soft seat as well and still get all this design aspect and you've still got all the spine reliefs in these other seats flat bottom the design of this is pretty close to a T11 but I still feel like the hips are a bit narrower um, a little bit shallower on the side I don't like the design quite as much as the T11 like I say the T11 is definitely my go-to seat for, for a lot of people um, and like I say, four strokes, definitely you want to go with a medium to a hard seat and then tag and shifter, you're going to go to a softer seat. And mounting is also a huge part of the handling characteristics of the seat. You can mount it high, low on the frame and that affects the jacking forward or back. Again, it affects the weight balance. And then also if you have weights, where you're putting the weights, whether the weights are up higher on the seat or lower on the seat, that has a lot to do with it as well. Um, the other nice thing about the Tillet seats, they are a little bit thicker, they seem to last quite a bit longer. These silver carbon seats, they definitely are prone to cracking much more. So when you mount the seat, you want to make sure to use a large washer. We actually, on the carts that we build, we will put a rubber isolator and then a, a big 50 mil aluminum washer on the back side of that. And that just gives it a big mounting surface so that you're not just putting all the load onto one spot. So. Anyways, that's just a, a little glimpse about what there is into the seats. And like I say, the T11 would definitely be our go-to seat. And you've got the standard, and then you have the T, which is the medium flex. And then you're going to have the VG, which is going to be the softer. And again, the, the harder the seat, it's going to create more of a bind within the chassis. And it's going to help with jacking the chassis up and freeing the cart up. The softer the seat is going to flex and absorb the flex of the chassis and help keep the cart a little flatter. And that's going to give you usually more rear grip. But again, if you're running a low horsepower class and you run a soft seat, you're not, you don't have the power to jack that axle up. And so that can cause some bad handling characteristics right there. And so a lot of times when people are you know, fighting some handling gremlins, Sometimes it comes down to just running too soft of a seat or they have the seat just in a completely wrong position. And when you mount these seats, you wanna make sure to mount them without binding them in the chassis. You don't wanna to try to push the seat down as you're mounting the holes to try to get things to line up. It should be floating within the seat when you go to mount it. And so we'll do some other videos on like seat hardware and seat mounting tips and uh, things like that to help keep you guys going. And uh, definitely make sure to look at the sizing charts because a T8 XL I can put on the inside of a T11 large. So sizing can change greatly. They also make these models with padding on the inside. So you have to accommodate for the, the thickness of the padding. And um, anyways, that's about it. And this is again Patrick with Carding Concepts. Thanks for watching.